I had a MRI to follow up on my multiple sclerosis. In the process, they discovered a large renal artery aneurysm. The local vascular surgeon said they could not repair and recommended I come to New York Presbyterian Columbia. I was the first physician uh, to meet Robert Lynn to discuss an aneurysm of the artery to his kidney. An aneurysm is when a blood vessel gets weakened and it dilates. The most common problem with an aneurysm, it can rupture, leading to very rapid blood loss and death. The ironic part is it's asymptomatic. No one knows they have it. And only anecdotally, by doing the MRI, was I aware. Dr. Morrissey notified me that he had a patient that had a very large aneurysm because it was so large. The standard ways of repairing the aneurysm would uh, put the kidney at risk um, for losing blood flow in loss of kidney function. So this is a reconstruction of Bob's CAT scan. And what we can see here, is the normal artery to the kidney, this quite large white area is actually the aneurysm. See how close it is to the kidney? And it's about four times the normal size of the artery. Here is the normal artery, which is about five millimeters in diameter. Here's the aneurysm, which is over three centimeters in diameter. So quite large and in a very precarious position. And it's in an area that with a standard surgical approach would be very difficult to get to safely. His question was, you know, was this something where we could remove the kidney, repair the, the aneurysm uh, on what we call the back table outside of his body and then put the kidney back in? And my initial thought was, this is absolutely something that we could do and that it'd be fun to do. Dr. Marcy had left me a voicemail that he had good news when I returned the call, that was the good news. I hung the phone up and immediately went to my wife and said, his version of good news and my version of good news are two different things. However, it was the best solution to the problem. In the old days prior to laparoscopy, to do something like this, we'd have to make a huge incision. The bigger the incision, the more it hurts, the longer the time spent in the hospital. I think this is one of the first times it's been described to take the kidney out laparoscopically and then allow us to work on it on the back table. We're looking for opportunities to do it in the future because we found a way to merge our skills in a very complicated situation. What made this unique is that we had two different teams working in concert. Everything was done the same day. The operation lasts about three and a half hours in total. So a procedure like this, which is utilizing several different teams in the same operation simultaneously, can't be done everywhere. You need the depth, you need the teamwork. Most hospitals don't have transplant programs. I've had nine surgeries in 14 years for different reasons. So I've been challenged a lot. I've been fortunate a lot for this hospital um, and these brilliant doctors. So I'm still here with a long way to go. His prognosis with respect to this aneurysm is excellent. There's no more aneurysm and there's no reason to expect he would ever develop another one. On a follow-up visit, with Dr. Ratner, I jokingly asked, did you put it back with crazy glue? His response was, no, just a lot of sewing. But the whole process still boggles my mind, and I'm just so grateful for the surgeons and for the hospital.